Voy a demo. That would provide you with an incredible amount of information. He talked to Bill O'Reilly about the possibilities of a library in your brain. Sometime in the next century, because computer chips are getting smaller and faster, and eventually the time will come when a child is implanted with a little chip back here and will learn to control the chip in the same way that you learn to control your bodily functions and your voice and your movements. So that uh, not only can you, my, right now my mind Voy a is demo. my body to talk and it's supplying my mouth with the words that I'm giving to you and the mind could also learn to say to the chip, uh, go to a certain web page, download some information and, so, and supply it to the inside of my you, you believe that you can act, you're going to be actually able to tell your mind through a chip to to provide you with information that you can then speak. So on this program, this would be great for me. You put a little chip in there, and if I didn't know something, I could say to the chip, would I have to say it out loud? Uh, either way. Either I way. could just think yeah. it. Give me an answer. Right now, we're loaded up with bionic stuff already. I'm wearing glasses. I have fillings in my teeth. This is a wristwatch. I'm wearing clothing, which allows me to adjust to the climate as I go outside. So it's obviously only a matter of time until convergence allows us to match the number one uh, to uh, uh, tool of the next century, and that would be the computer chip. I mean, okay, so the computer are tools, chip, glasses are tools. Sure, but all of these are external. The computer should be in you. Muy demo. Well, it that... could be in you, or it could be wherever you wanted it to be. And it would allow you to make uh, telephone calls without having a cell phone. Allow you to surf the web without having to monitor. Well, uh, show me how. Uh, so, if I had a chip embedded in my uh, in my yeah. head, I could make a telephone call by you could just start talking. Chip, call mom. Yeah. And mom would be, and I could and talk you to her. Just say hello, mom. Uh, this and is I wouldn't have a phone or anything. No. And so you'd have to have some body language so people would know what you were doing. <laughs> oh, you, Let's you say you're you standing crazy. at the American Airlines terminal. Yeah. And you're calling the. Muy demo. And saying I've missed my flight. Do you have any seats at 10 o'clock? Mm -hmm. Okay. If you're standing there saying that, somebody's going to look at you. Like you're one of these crazy. But not if everybody had the chip, they'd all know what was going on. Well, but you would do, do this. Right. You oh, you go there to the little this phone. This means I'm not just talking to myself, I'm talking on the phone. This and then sounds if you're, so... If you're reading the web on the inside of your eyeballs, yeah. it would look rude to people. It would look like I'm staring straight through you. But I'm not staring straight through you. I'm looking at the Fox News web page, right? Mm -hmm. so Muy I demo. Know that, I would just go like this. You know, so you're going to have a direct, whole sign language thing like about this. what we're This yeah. sounds so unbelievable. If but I'm downloading information. <laughs> <laughs> it's, but it's true. It could happen, right? Well, I, you see, my article is half serious and it's half satirical. I don't know which half is half, though, because things are converging so quickly. And computers I, but are already such an amazing right. tool. But we've checked it out a little further uh, than your article. And the uh, science demo. It is absolutely true and absolutely possible for a human being to be have a chip embedded in their system and to have many many things appear in their mind upon command so you would say uh, i need to know the name of the 18th president bing not only that i meet you and i call up your credit report while we're talking we thought bill o'reilly already had <laughs>